Hello, my most amazing artists. Today we are going to be creating an artwork inspired by Vincent van Gogh's Sunflowers. Hello, my most amazing artists. First, you are going to write your name and your teacher's name on the back of your paper. After you're done, you're going to flip your paper over like a pancake so your name is on the back. Then you will open your oil pastels and find a brown. Once you have located your brown, you are going to use it to draw a table line at the bottom of your paper. This should be about four fingers up from the bottom. Then you'll draw a vase shape. This will overlap your table, and the top of your vase should end at about the halfway point on your paper. Now, you're going to draw circles and ovals for the centers of your sunflowers. I want you to try and draw four or five. Four or five circles and ovals is a great number for your bouquet of sunflowers. Great! Now you are going to find browns and a yellow. Inside of your centers of your flowers, you can use stippling. That's a way of shading using dots. Notice how I'm going from my dark to my middle to my lightest color, overlapping them to create some shadow. You can also do scumbling in the center of your flower. That's using your oil pastels in circular motions to create texture. You decide if you would like to use just stippling, just scumbling, or a bit of each for the centers of your flowers. Now we're going to add a white highlight. Your white highlight should be on the side of your circle where your lightest color is. Now you will find yellows and oranges for your sunflower petals. You can create these sunflower petals however you would like. You can do kind of a scribble scrabbly line. You could do football shaped petals that are pointed at the ends. You could do rounded petals like a bunny hop line. But I suggest using a variety. Variety is used in art to make things more interesting. We use variety to catch the viewer's attention using more than just one shape, line, or color. Then you'll add more detail, adding a variety of color to your sunflower petals. Dark yellows, light yellows, and a little bit of orange.
you can add these different colors however you would like. But please make sure that you're not just adding one shade of yellow, but that you add lots of different shades of yellow and orange for emphasis. Now you're going to find your greens for your stems and your leaves. I suggest adding these stems and leaves in wherever there is empty space between your flowers. Again, using your dark and your light green and hard pressure blending them together. So pressing hard with your oil pastel. Now you're going to find your scraper tool. We are going to use this scraper tool to scratch through. When you scratch through something in art, it is called scrafito. That is an Italian word that means to scrape through. I'm adding some details to my petals, some different lines for the veins of the flower petals and leaves. If you don't like a scratch that you made, just go back over it with oil pastel. That's an easy way to delete what you've done and try again. You can also scratch through to add some lines or veins in your leaves. After you're all done with that, you are going to grab a light and a dark color for your vase. So I chose a darker blue and a lighter blue, but you could do dark orange and light orange or dark pink and light pink. It's up to you what color vase you want. We are going to be using the technique of hard pressure blending for the vase. So you will need to press harder with your oil pastel so you have a thick application then you are going to go in with your lighter color and blend the two together where they meet. Remember that this is called heavy pressure blending or hard pressure blending because you are pushing down hard with your oil pastel for those colors to blend. You can go back and forth between the two until it looks how you like it. Now you're going to find a black and a white oil pastel. You are going to use the black on one side of the vase, adding just a small line of black on the side. Then on the opposite side, you are going to go in with the white this should be on the side with the lighter color. Now you are once again going to find your same light and dark colors that you used for your vase. Mine is dark blue and light blue. I'm going to go back in and hard pressure blend the lighter color into my white and the darker color into my black. Now you should have a whole value scale going from dark to light. 
Then you're going to find two colors for your table. These can be any two colors that you want. You are going to do what's called a light pressure blending for your table. So you're going to press lighter than you did with your vase. Lightly blending the two colors together. Not so they mix completely, but you will want to see both colors layering them on top of one another. You will also light pressure blend two colors together for your wall. Remember, a light pressure blend is holding your oil pastel very lightly instead of pressing hard. Next, you're going to find a dark brown. We are going to use this dark brown to help outline our flowers so that we can really clearly see them. This will help define the flower so that you know where one starts and one ends. Congratulations, you have just created a sunflower masterpiece inspired by the artist Vincent van Gogh using oil pastel techniques.